I've seen the advisory report, it's the first one published by PDC and I'm quite encouraged by it given how widely they've cast the study to look at different stakeholders and uh, accounting for um, both expert views as well as uh, the different community groups. Uh, I appreciate that because they've gone down to the details of um, things that what people, what people need. Uh, so for example, for the elderly commuters, they are interested in getting um, armrests at the bus stops, you know, just to be able to get off the seats easily. So I think little thoughts like this are, are necessary and, and, and are very considerate if, 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 if we actually get to implement them. And to me, it's, it's a progression of the transportation system as we have developed it so well so far to not just provide the hardware to make sure that the buses and MRTs and train taxis all flow well, but also the hardware and the little things that matter to, to the communities. So I, I congratulate the PTC in this regard. So the first report actually resonates quite well with a study that we've done called The Future of Transportation, which looks at future urban mobility for Singapore in year 2040. So in that process, we also consulted with um, uh, different focus groups and get some discussions going on what are the ideals of commuters uh, in the future. And I think there are some parallels here, some concerns about things like comfort, uh, reliability, and so on. So I, I think this is a very interesting follow-up report.